Hello children and us of course parents welcome back to my channel Erich and Arians Story Corner so this is one reason why I started this channel okay so basically uh, there was this uh, female newscaster here in Danang Vietnam so we met and she said if I could read a book while she records it and so I did it and what happened was she said I'm a natural in storytelling so because of that I was encouraged to make this channel she also has this uh, YouTube channel wherein she would invite parents to read books to children storybooks for children while she videos them and she puts puts this uh, videos in her in her channel as well so this is one reason why i am doing this channel because because of her she encouraged me so by the way her name is Chen. So Chen, thank you very much for uh, giving me the the encouragement to start this new channel. And children and parents, the next story that I'm going to read, which is also you can also watch this on her channel. It's called the Three Little Pigs. So enjoy, children.
said the second little pig. So the wolf huff and puff and puff again and blew the house down. The second little pig ran away as fast as he could. The third little pig found some bricks. I'm going to build my house with bricks, said the third little pig. He carried the bricks to the top of the little hill. He laid the bricks. He hammered and saw. He put on the roof and the windows and doors. His brick house took a long time to build. The third little pig had a good, strong house. No sooner had the third little pig finished his house, then he saw the other two little pigs. They were running as fast as they could because the big bad wolf was chasing after them. Come and hide in here, he called. The two little pigs came rushing inside and the third little pig slammed the door shut. Go away, you big bad wolf, they shouted. But the big bad wolf wouldn't go away. Let me in, he called. You can't come in, said the three little pigs. So the big bad wolf huffed and puffed. Nothing happened. He huffed and puffed again. Still nothing happened. The big bad wolf blew so hard. He made himself dizzy. The three little pigs were safe inside the brick house. The brick house was too strong for the big bad wolf to blow down. I'm coming to get you, growled the wolf. He started to climb down the chimney. The three little pigs were cooking a big pot of hot soup on the fire. The wolf came down and landed plop in the soup. Yow! shouted and ran out of the house as fast as he could. And the three little pigs never saw the big bad wolf again. The end. That's the story of the three little pigs. So children, what do you think is the story about? Well, I'm going to tell you. Anything that you do in haste and in no quality at all, definitely it will not last long. You should always put your precious time in everything that you do. Precious quality time. And sure enough, those things will last. So next time, I'm going to read you a story again. Alright?